think of a dream like a destination and a wish as the vehicle that gets you there. So that's the easiest way to describe it. And the reason is like, how many of you talk about your dreams every day? Like you're just there, you're just like, hey, this is my dream. This is my dream. And to anyone that will listen, how many of you, how many of you do that? Probably almost no one. How many of you talk about your wishes every day without knowing it? You wish that you were happier or you're worried about something, right? That happens pretty much regularly because that is your orientation. That is whether you're swimming in a circle through worry, which again creates momentum. So it's not a negative thing or it allows you to move forward. And when you wish for something and you add value to it, then that's great. Now, here's what most people do. And this is why the number one lesson is the wish. Most people wish for something and then they move through that wish. They get what they wished for, but they never uncreate that wish. And so what happens is now they have an anchor to the space behind them and they will start to worry until they get enough momentum negatively to come back to the point where they can reclaim that value. This is not actually very beneficial for you. You can do it if you want to, but if you actually achieve your wish, so let's say that like the easiest one is, let's say you wish for happiness and then you experience a moment of happiness, celebrate that moment of ha that moment of happiness. This is called gratitude creates room for more, right? Anyone that's watched secrets of success, the, the 11 secrets of success, that video is extremely important for orientation as well. That being said, when I experience a wish that is mine and it becomes a fulfilled wish, then I have the opportunity to celebrate that wish, creating more room for me to go forward and also acknowledging it so that I can then choose to reclaim my value from the wish so that I can wish again. This is how you swim faster, right? One wish is a stroke towards it. And then when you uncreate it, you get the value back. And that's like you coming back here so that you can do it again. And this is going to be extremely important once we start time circuits, because you're going to be swimming in the infinite ocean of time. And so if you don't have an orientation, you're just going to be swimming in circles because the more time that you process through your body, the more light you process. And remember the fifth dimension is the dimension right before the chaos dimension. So as you begin to touch infinite time, the stream of chaos comes in right after that's divine order, which is the, you know, the sixth dimension is that so the seventh dimension is so in order. That process of resolving is extremely important because as you're swimming through the waters of chaos, you're actually learning who you really are. You're learning the fears, the insecurities, the doubts, the worries. And as you begin to reclaim that, you're actually gaining more value. And the more value you have, the more opportunity to move forward faster. Think of value as your speed. Okay. So as I wish and complete said wish, or, and again, this is fine too, right? Like I wish for something and I'm like, you know what? Actually, I don't care about that anymore. I'm going to reclaim my value from that wish. You're adding more value because you're expending the value, creating room for more value to come in. And then you're reclaiming the value, expanding. 